What's up everybody, it's Geek Gamer here. Today I'm going to show you a little build that I did a while ago. Um, so let me show it to you. Basically you can pretty much destroy anything you want. Um, like for instance this towel. You place them down on a pressure plate. Pressure plate activates these dispensers which shoot out arrows. Which is actually <laughs> really nice. Um, but... This is great for like, I don't know, just trolling people overall, but it's really fun to build and it's really easy, so let's get building. Okay, so the basics are pretty simple. You have a one block deep hole in the ground. Um, in this case, it, the hole doesn't really matter its size, um, but mine is one, two, three, four by three, um, and it's one deep, so go ahead and do that and once you've completed that you need to get out a pressure plate which if you don't know uh, activates when a person steps on it or it gets pushed down um okay so you place it all around your block so it kinda creates a border around your square like this okay let's not fall in the lava Okay. Um, next, we are going to grab a redstone repeater, so just type REP and the repeater will come up. Um, okay, well we just put the repeaters in front of each pressure plate, including the corners, we'll just go like that, that's how I'll deal with corners. And as you see, they activate when we step on them and they deactivate about a second afterwards. So, that's pretty cool. Um, but you need to make sure that they're facing the pressure plate and they're not like that. Otherwise, it won't activate. You need to make sure it's facing forwards like so. And um, we'll just place it on every single one like that. Like that. Mm, excuse me. All right. So right now, you ought to have something that looks like like that. Okay, so you have the um, pressure plates surrounding the square of lava. Then outside the square, you have repeaters all around, but on each corner, you skip the corner. You do not add the corners of, on the repeaters, uh, with the repeaters. So, all right, so next comes the last part. We grab a um, dispenser, and you put dispensers all around um on each one like that behind each um uh, repeater so okay and again you need to make sure that they are um facing you with hole outwards so that they'll shoot in the direction you wish them to shoot okay and we'll just do this last one really quickly Sorry, but a little, little bit of lag there. Okay, so that's what it should look like right now, and as you can see, it's pretty much identical to this one. So, um, they'll, as you can see, they activate when you step on them, like so. All right, so next, uh, we go and we grab arrows. I just grab, I shift click on the arrows to add a stack. Um, so we can just shift click, shift click. Dun, 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 dun. So once we've grabbed enough arrows, um, generally I fill at least two hot bars full with arrows. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, and as you can probably see, I am still Alex, which is really bugging me. Um, but I'm not connected to the internet right now, so I can't be my custom skin, unfortunately. But you saw it in the last video, so go check that video out. Um, go ahead and like it, and um, I'll probably be releasing some more Let's Build videos from that series. Um, but, you know, just keep on watching them, and please, please subscribe. Um, okay. So, I'm just going to fill up three hot bars, hot bars, okay, 
Okay. So when we go up, we open up our survival inventory. We should have a whole chest filled amount of arrows. You probably don't need this many arrows, but I, I just don't really want to count it. So we just add all these arrows here. Yeah. Did I skip this one? No, I did not. I did not skip that one. So let's just put that one in there. That one right there. Put that one in there. 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 Boom. Boom. Eh. Okay, like that. This is a little boring, as you can probably see. Okay, so we've got all these dispensers filled with arrows. So congratulations, you just finished. Um, and so let's go ahead and grab our test cow. I'll just grab these cow spawn eggs. Alright, so let's test this guy. Eh. Yes, it works! Yay! And that cow just got burnt really badly. But, um, if you, like, um, if you fill up that area with some sort of block, and, like, uh, if you fill up this area, a lot of times, um, when you place uh, let's just sit here. When you don't let the cow get out. Um, if you kind of just build a wall around so the cow cannot escape. Alright, so this is like, this cow is going to die, maybe. Oh, oh, that was pretty awesome. So yeah, that is it for today, you guys. There is the cow killing machine. Um, and then again, I mean, if you wanted, you could just fill this little area. With lava, 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 lava. I'm just gonna do that all again. Um, and I mean, if you wanted, you could do what I just did with like the walls and stuff so that the cows cannot escape. Oh, it's becoming daytime again. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the cow is most likely, he's most likely dead if you put him in here. Like, whoa, well this is pretty cool though. If you put it on a corner, it gets shot twice. So you put it in there, boom, boom. Oh, I feel bad for that cow now. So we can stop using cows and we can use hostile creatures like zombies. We can put a zombie, let's spawn this zombie right here. Oh. That, oh, poor baby zombie. <laughs> that's pretty funny all right well you guys that is it for today um that is the cow killing machine uh or any creature machine so i will see you guys later goodbye